There's a YouTube video out there for just about everything. But you know where I think the most valuable information comes from? These things. Here are hands down some of the most valuable books that I recommend. Let's face it guys, The Daily Coach is nothing if she is not a personal development junkie. <laughs> the only way that I can give the inspiring advice that I give to my candidates every day and to you, my YouTube followers, is because I'm constantly filling my own head with inspiring advice, reading great books, listening to great podcasts. I'm constantly on YouTube myself looking for videos from motivational speakers, from Christian authors, from mindset coaches, from people that will speak to me. So I thought it would be fun to make a video where I share some of the most influential books in my life, books that I return to again and again and again, books that have helped me become the coach that I am today, and books that maybe might inspire you as well. So I'll start with the top book. This book by Brendan Bouchard, Life's Golden Ticket. This is probably my all time favorite best book. Like if somebody said, Kim, what's your favorite book? I'd have to say it's Brendan's book on second chances. It's a great story wrapped up into life advice. And that's kind of just my favorite kind of a book. Um, another great book would be the book with Kim Daly's face on the front, Mission Matters, Top Tips to Success. You can find this on Amazon. A co-authored book on just different tips, everything in business, mainly from leadership to marketing to, of course, the Daily Coaches chapter is on mindset. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We can't get too far into a conversation about great books without mentioning this little purple book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Anybody who is beginning their quest to become a business owner, to change their thinking from W2 employee to business owner, really needs to read this book. Another great book that's not in my pile, but it's on the same like kind of tone as Rich Dad, Poor Dad is Michael Gerber's book, The E-Myth Revisited. That's a fantastic book as a starter book if you're just coming to the idea of building a business. But Rich Dad, Poor Dad talks about how the rich get richer and the poor and the middle class stay the same. You've heard me say in other videos that 90% of millionaires own their own business. And this book supports why millionaires know and want to own their own business. The long and short answer is because businesses create cash flow, build equity, and provide tax advantages. And so it's those tax shelters that help you keep more money, uh, right? It's not always about how much you make, it's about how much you get to keep. So this is a classic, and this is a must in every business owner's personal library. Feel the fear and do it anyway. I mean, does this book really need an introduction? I was given this book 20 years ago when I first got into franchising and I love this book, refer to it often. You know, starting a business requires doing something for most people that you've never done. And when we step out of our comfort zone, there's always going to be fear. And sometimes we need tools. <laughs> Sometimes we need to be told that it's gonna be okay and that's actually why The Daily Coach has a business. I spend a lot of time helping my candidates push through that moment, that final moment at the end when they're ready to say yes. But sometimes it's not just about hearing it from somebody because sometimes that's just aggravating. Some people wanna read it, they need to ponder it and this is a great book, Dr. Susan Jeffers, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. Hey, failing forward. Everybody is afraid to fail. And in this book, John Maxwell talks about how failing really is just moving forward. Sometimes we learn more when things don't go right. I'm not really sure why we're all afraid of failing because we learn more in our life when things don't go right than when they do go right. This is a great book about just trying. And if you fail, take what you learn and move forward. The real failure in life really isn't failing or when it doesn't go right or as planned. The real failure is when we quit. 
Okay, then we've got another Kim Daly book, uh, Franchising Freedom. This is my uh, co-authored book that went on to become an international best-selling book within seven days of its publication date back in 2020. So you can check that out. That's specific to franchising. The Effortless Entrepreneur, written by a good friend of mine, Omar. This is a book that supports franchising, um, having the leverage of systems, proven systems and technology behind you. Hey, how about this, guys? The Millionaire Next Door. I know many people are familiar with this book. This is another classic, probably a must have in almost every entrepreneur's personal library. The Millionaire Next Door talks about how there are many millionaires living among us that you just wouldn't know are millionaires because they're people that maybe invested in businesses that are not the big flashy businesses that we know. You know, they're in recycling or they're in junk removal or they own a scrap metal lot. So this book supports the idea that a business doesn't have to be sexy in order for it to make you a million dollars. And the Daily Coach would absolutely second that. Billionaire in Training, written by Brad Sugars, who is a very well-known motivational speaker, international business coach, personal friend of Kim Daly. I've known Brad for many, many, many years. Uh, so that's a great book, uh, Billionaire in Training. Brad built one of the largest business coaching franchises in the world called Action International. Life at Level 10 by my friend Lance. We've had Lance Farrell on as a guest on The Daily Coach. Uh, Lance is the founder of Farrell's Extreme Body Shaping, a very successful, life-changing fitness franchise, and he put it all into a book. You guys should check this one out. The Educated Franchisee, written by another great friend of Kim Daly. He is a fellow colleague at Franchise, Rick Bizio. He is the master at franchise consulting, and this is like the third edition of his book, The Educated Franchisee. He also has a workbook that goes along with his book uh, that helps people kind of more methodically go through their franchise due diligence process. So you can definitely check that out, theeducatedfranchisee.com. Hire Yourself, another book written by a colleague of Kim Daly. His name is Pete Gilfillan. Pete is also another pro at Franchise Consulting, and that's Peter's book. Ones that I have actually taken tools out of, implemented them, and they've actually changed my life. <laughs> so this simple little book that's called Exactly What to Say by Phil Jones, was given to me by one of my colleagues a couple of years ago. It's a simple book, but sometimes the truth is so simple that you can't overcomplicate it. This for me was a life-changing book. If you are in a sales profession, or you are in a profession where you are influencing people, where you are communicating with other people, you should absolutely check out this book. This book, chapter by chapter, addresses the most common objections in every relationship and how to set it up better. And so what I did was as I read the book, I first audibled it because that's what I typically do is audible books. And then I was like, ooh, there's too much gold in that. And so I bought the physical book and then I went through the book chapter by chapter with my notebook because very often when I find a book that I love, I journal what I'm listening to or I take notes on what I'm listening to because the act of writing it down commits it to my memory and helps me then figure out how to use what I've read and implement it into my life. So this book is a really great book if you're in sales. There's all kinds of great tools really for communicating with anybody. And then the last book that I actually don't even own in a hard copy, how ironic is that? It's a book that I audible on the first of every month. The book is by Earl Nightingale and it's called The Strangest Secret. This book, The Strangest Secret, was given to me just a few years ago and it, for me, is the most life-changing book that I've ever read. The Strangest Secret talks about how our thoughts and our words create our reality. 
It's a 25 minute audible and it's a book that I would highly recommend that anybody who's watching this video would check out The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. Now, if you've made it to the end of this video, you may be thinking, Kim, this is great, but like these books are all, you know, particular to you. You're right. These are some of the books that have influenced my thinking, my life, helped me to become the person and the coach that I am today. There may be other books that have influenced you. If so, I would encourage you to leave some of the names of those books in the comments below. I'm always looking for a new great book. So if you feel you have a great book that you wanna share with me, please leave it in the comments below so that I can check it out. If you've enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.